SpaceX is about to make history. The company is getting ready for the Starship's second orbital launch test after months of upgrades to the launch infrastructure as well as the rocket itself. However, SpaceX still needs to win the approval of the FAA before the world's biggest rocket can finally take to the skies. Let's talk about this upcoming launch and what challenges SpaceX must overcome to make it happen. From the moment of its creation, SpaceX set out on an incredible adventure to completely change how we think about and interact with the vast cosmos. When the company was first founded, there were many doubts about its potential. People who were skeptical, including those with a lot of experience in the industry, wondered if SpaceX could actually achieve lasting success. The doubts surrounding SpaceX gained momentum with the introduction of its groundbreaking Falcon rocket series. To numerous observers, these ventures appeared excessively audacious, and some even deemed them unachievable. The unveiling of the Starship concept further fueled this skepticism. Critics disregarded it as a pure daydream, being convinced that it would never materialize beyond the realm of fantasy. Time and again, SpaceX has proven its critics wrong by consistently accomplishing what they thought was unlikely. The triumphant launch of the Starship on April 20th not only silenced the skeptics, but also solidified the company's growing impact on space exploration. At this moment, with the world eagerly awaiting the approaching second test flight, Elon Musk's recent statement about a 60% chance of the Starship successfully reaching orbit adds even more excitement to the mix. Recent moves made by SpaceX, including alerting the U.S. Coast Guard about upcoming rocket launch operations near Brownsville, Texas, provide strong indications that the eagerly anticipated launch is on the horizon. Rising to an imposing height of 120 meters, the Starship commands attention above numerous forerunners. Boasting a diameter of about 9 meters, its sheer dimensions stand as a remarkable declaration in the realm of aerospace engineering. Regarding its thrust capability, the Starship, when paired with the Super Heavy Booster, wields an unmatched power that outpaces rockets that previously held the title of the mightiest. Significantly, this force even surpasses that of the Saturn V, which was utilized during the Apollo missions and once held the reputation as the pinnacle of rocket potency. Unlike the one-time use rockets of the past, the Starship and its Super Heavy booster are intricately designed for multiple trips. The ability to carry out missions repeatedly without the need to build an entirely new rocket for each launch represents a significant leap forward in both aerospace engineering and environmental sustainability. The prevailing notion is that sending a rocket into space primarily involves tackling the scientific and engineering hurdles. Yet, the truth is more intricate, encompassing a dual-faced challenge. Conquering the intricate technical dimensions of space travel is entwined with maneuvering through the intricate web of rules and authorizations. 
This delicate balance between aspiration and safety becomes clear when we look at the dynamic interaction between SpaceX and the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. The origins of their conflicts can be linked to events like the third launch of Falcon 1 in 2008. During that instance, SpaceX encountered significant challenges due to delays in securing licenses from the FAA. However, the tensions between the two entities escalated to an entirely new level on April 20th, 2023. During this particular event, the test launch of the Starship led to a catastrophic explosion. This incident not only caused damage to the nearby area, but also inflicted significant harm to the launch facility located at Boca Chica Beach. Beyond the physical destruction caused by the explosion, this occurrence intensified the level of examination directed at SpaceX, coming from both the FAA and the general public. Numerous people held reservations about whether SpaceX could stick to Elon Musk's outline timetable for the upcoming launch. Adding to the complexity, SpaceX delayed releasing the reports from the initial launch test until quite recently, which only added to the prevailing feeling of uncertainty. However, following the principle of better late than ever, SpaceX has finally provided the required reports. As a result, there's a palpable atmosphere of enthusiasm and anticipation. If everything progresses smoothly and the FAA grants the required license, there's a clear chance that we might witness the next launch by the end of August. Nevertheless, securing the license hinges on various factors. The aftermath of the April flight highlighted the need for significant improvements. One of these upgrades is linked to the hot staging ring, a crucial element for seamless transitioning between rocket stages. Worth noting is that this component has undergone recent enhancements. Recently unveiled images from SpaceX vividly showcase this upgraded hot staging ring, intricately integrated into a super heavy booster. This progress marks a pivotal achievement as the Starship prepares for its forthcoming and daring flight. In the first test, fans of rocketry were presented with an exceptional display. The image of multiple engines igniting simultaneously on a solitary rocket. This mesmerizing sight, seldom witnessed in real time over a significant period, left a profound impact. The Super Heavy Booster, notable for its unique encirclement of engines, has transformed into an emblematic representation that captures SpaceX's ambitious outlook for the times ahead. Certainly, one of the most awe-inspiring moments during the April test was the attempt to separate the rocket's first and second stages. This monumental construct, towering at nearly 400 feet tall, engaged in a series of mid-air maneuvers before eventually yielding to self-destruct commands. Interestingly, the self-destruct mechanism, designed to swiftly render the extensive stainless steel rocket inert during crucial scenarios, has become a focal point of scrutiny in the aftermath of the test. SpaceX's attention hasn't been limited to the rocket alone. Their endeavors have stretched to encompass a water deluge system situated beneath the orbital launch mount. Constructed from robust steel, this system demonstrates ingenious thinking by propelling substantial amounts of water 
upward. This well thought out design acts as a defense against the immense pressures faced during launch. Elon Musk has drawn a parallel between this mechanism and an inverted shower head, a fitting comparison that accurately captures its function. Furthermore, astute observers have recognized the inclusion of a heat shield on the upper part of the rocket booster, a strategic measure to ready the starship for the crucial hot staging sequence. Every component from Ship 25 to Booster 9 and the orbital launch mount has undergone thorough testing and improvement. It is now widely accepted within the space community that SpaceX has deliberately opted for Booster 9 and Ship 25 for the Starship's second launch attempt. These choices were not random. They were made with careful calculation and intent. Booster 9 has garnered praise for its robust engine performance, ensuring the ideal thrust and stability required during the crucial liftoff and stage separation phases. On the other hand, Ship 25 showcases cutting edge thermal protection systems and improved structural strength, making it well prepared to endure the demanding conditions of space. It's crucial to emphasize that both the Starship and its accompanying Super Heavy Booster embody the expansive vision that SpaceX embraces for interplanetary colonization. Among these impressive feats of engineering, a certain level of uncertainty persists. The FAA's process of evaluating and approving reports holds great weight for SpaceX's upcoming ventures. Unfortunately, the timeline for this critical phase remains undefined. Adding intricacy to the situation is the operation of the rocket's self-destruct system. During the April incident, this safety mechanism took longer than expected to render the malfunctioning vehicle inert. Ensuring the efficiency of this safety measure is paramount, as SpaceX cannot afford any repetition of such delays in their forthcoming flights. SpaceX's journey, as always, is laden with challenges. From addressing the findings of the mishap report to countering legal actions aiming to revoke their five-year launch license, the path ahead is not devoid of obstacles. Nonetheless, history has proven that Elon Musk's SpaceX has flourished even in the face of adversity. Judging by the rate of progress at Starbase, it is undeniable that we are on the precipice of a historic moment for not only SpaceX, but space exploration as a whole. Do you think SpaceX has done enough to win a new launch from the FAA? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Also, if you liked this video, you may also enjoy this one which talks about SpaceX's revolutionary new approach to the Starship's welding method.